Welcome back to the Organic Chemistry Laboratory at the University of Guelph, Chemistry 2700. Experiment 2, the steam distillation of cloves and extraction of the essential oils. Very tricky to set up. We've got a lot of expensive equipment here, so we have to figure it out. We have to put it together. You have pictures, you have instructions, but sometimes the video is better. So here we go. Stir plate. Stir plate needs to be up. You need to be able to lower it later on in the experiment, so start with the stir plate up a little bit. You need something to heat with. This is a heating mantle. If you plug this directly into the wall socket, it will go to 600 degrees Celsius and melt the glass. Please do not do that. To heat, you use the power supply with the dial so you can control the temperature. So, our heater goes up there. Our expensive flask has to be clamped carefully. You will require a stir bar, and somehow you've got to get it in here. So gently work your way in. You'll have to adjust a little bit here. Tighten both sides of the three-prong clamp. Nothing makes me crazier than a crooked clamp. There we go. There should not be a lot of pressure. It should be secure, but it should not be forced. It's glass, it'll break. What do you expect? Okay, so here we go. Now, we're gonna boil, and the steam's gonna go up and carry the oils within it, it's gonna have some place to go. We have a three-way connecting piece, that's called the still head. Sometimes it's called a three-way connecting piece, I do not know why. Distillation has been around ever since man discovered alcohol, let's call it a still head. This is a vacuum takeoff. It's got a little thingy here for putting vacuum on, hence vacuum takeoff. In between, we put the condenser. And a little tiny bit of grease on the joints. That way, they will never get stuck permanently. So, we put the condenser on the still head. Vacuum takeoff on the other side, and there's nothing holding it together. The absolute best thing to hold glassware together are rubber bands. Make sure you have a good one. And carefully put the rubber band over the apparatus. Now it won't fall, it won't break, and it won't make me cry because this is worth a lot of money. So carefully greasing, place that guy in that spot. Now, we have a receiving flask and no clamp. Now I have a three prong clamp. It is important that you clamp the receiving flask first and then adjust it into position. You have to be very careful not to stress out the glassware so, we clamp, ensuring that it is secure, and very carefully, through a series of finicky adjustments, we align the bottom flask with the vacuum takeoff. This does not have to be tight. The flask is held by the clamp. The three pieces that make up the distillation head, they're held together by the rubber band. This flask is held securely by that clamp. This heats, and remember, this gets plugged into this thing. This goes in the wall. Do not, please do not plug this into the wall. That is your equipment setup for experiment number two, Chem 2700. Here we go, have fun.